Part 2 His History Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Before Prophethood His Birth Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in Mecca in the year of the elephants, the year in which Abraha invaded Mecca with an army of elephants. On Monday, in the month of Rabi al Awwal, 53 years before Hijrah, corresponding to the year 571 CE. The event of the army of elephants and restraining them was a tribute to the Prophet and his sacred house, the Kaaba. His father, Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib, he passed away before the Prophet was born, therefore, the Prophet was born an orphan. His mother, Amina bint Wahab from the tribe of Banu Zuhra. She passed away before the Prophet was seven years old. His carers. After his mother passed away, he then was placed in the care of his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, who passed away while the Prophet was eight years old. He was then placed in the care of his paternal uncle, Abu Talib, whose name is Abdul Manaf. His foster mothers. Thuwayba, the slave of Abu Lahab. She also nursed Abu Salama, Abdullah ibn Abdul Asad al Makhzumi, with the milk of her son Masrah. She also nursed the Prophet's uncle Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. Halima al Sa'diya. She nursed him from the milk of her son Abdullah, brother of Anisa, and Judama, better known as Shayma the children of Al-Harith, Ibn Abdul Uzza, Ibn Rafa'ah, Al-Sa'di. His uncle Abu Sufyan was also nursed with him. His wet nurses, Halima bint Abi Lu'ayb Al-Sa'diya, Thuwayba, the slave of Abu Lahab, his mother Amina, Shayma, the daughter of Halima, and foster sister of the Prophet She is the one who came to him among the delegation of the Hawazin, a tribe from whom amongst those who wanted to fight against the Messenger of Allah after the conquest of Mecca. So he spread his garment for her to sit down on, observing her rights as his foster sister, but also his wet nurse. Um Ayman Baraka al Habashiya. The Prophet ﷺ had inherited her from his father and she had been his wet nurse. The Prophet ﷺ married her to Zayd ibn Harith and she then bore then a son called Usama ibn Zayd. She is also the one who Abu Bakr and Umar visited after the death of the Prophet ﷺ while she was once crying. So they said to her, why do you cry? Surely what Allah has for the Prophet is better. She replied, I know that which Allah has for the Prophet is better, and he is now in a better situation. However, I cry because the revelation has stopped coming from the heavens. This caused them both to also cry with her. His works, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, used to tend to sheep, and this was a reason for his level of patience and mercy and concern towards the needy and the weak. The Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Every Prophet that Allah has sent herded sheep at one time or another. He was also asked, even you? He replied, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by saying, yes, I attended them for a few carrots of gold for the people of Mecca. Business and marriage. When he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was 25 years old, he left for Syria for business. After he returned, he married his first wife, Khadija bin Khawalid, radiallahu anha, building the Kaaba. When he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was 35 years old, the Kaaba had been destroyed, so the Quraysh decided to rebuild it and distributed duties amongst the different tribes of the Quraysh. However, when it came to the corner of the black stone, they began to dispute who would lift the black stone back to its place. This dispute continued for up to three or five nights until they agreed that the next person that enters the masjid would judge between them. This man was the Prophet wasallam. He commanded each tribe to hold a corner of a piece of cloth with the black stone on top of it and when they raised it, he placed it in its correct place himself. Seclusion Aisha said, The love of seclusion was bestowed upon him. 
He وسلم, used to go into seclusion in the cave of Hira where he used to worship Allah alone continuously for many days. And the hatred for idols and religion of his people was bestowed upon him and nothing was more hated to him than this.